So first you want to start off by cutting out your template and tracing it onto your foam. And you can just find this template just by searching up Hufflepuff template on Google. So now let's move on to the next step. So next what you want to do is you want to cut out parts of the different parts of the template and tracing it onto your um, foam. So like the border and the badger. So like that and it's up to you, you can either cut out all the letters separately and trace them, I just decided just to draw them out by hand and it didn't come out very well but hopefully it will look better once it's been painted. So now you just want to cut this out. Okay so after you have cut it out you can finally start painting it. So. I already painted the border and the background yellow, then I painted the outside border black, then I used black puffy paint for the letters. So now let's move on to the next step. Okay, so next what I did was I painted the badger and I just used some light and dark grey colours and I used silver puffy paint for the claws. And you can just use an image of the crest for help. And I know it doesn't really look the best, but I tried. So now let's move on to the next step. So next what I did was I painted on all the designs in the background using my black puffy paint. And then what I did was I just added the design around the border using silver puffy paint. Yeah, I did kind of um, rush that part so it's not perfect. And then I just outlined the whole thing with the black puffy paint. And yeah, I think it looks okay so now you just want to let this dry and your squishy will be done so here is the next day and some of the puppy paint is still a little bit wet but that's fine I'll just squish it very carefully And I think it turned out okay. And it's up to you if you want to paint the back, I just chose not to. So yep, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please comment down below what you think and also as always please feel free to request any more squishy tutorials you would like me to do in the comments below 
and thank you so much for watching bye bye